Well, Lauren, listen, in case you forgot, buddy, you closed the show. You closed the show for this one. Oh, and there's a story behind that, too. I can't wait. You team with Paulie Dangerously against Rick Steiner and Missy Hyatt inside a steel cage. Before I let you tell your story, though, we're going to watch it because it only takes less than three minutes. And you close out the show. We have the match in its entirety for our uh, fifth clip of the week. Let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Rick Steiner. Thanks to the hardliners, Rick Steiner's brother Scott is not here. He may be out of action for four or five more months. And speaking of the hardliners, they're on their way down the ramp. There's Murdoch and Slater, Tony. What's going on here now? Let's keep them out of the cage. That's for sure. Hey, they They got Missy Hyatt. Murdoch and Slater, Naylor, they got Missy Hyatt. The fans here, don't, they're trying to help Missy, but they're dealing with the wrong two guys right there to deal with. So it's going to be Rick Steiner by himself in the cage. Missy was, I guess, receiving the adulation of the fans a little too long out there. So now it's uh, Wimpy Paul E. Dangerously and Arn Anderson, the enforcer. Hey, don't wave goodbye! Well, I'm going to say, and you can see that he's smiling, because basically it's two on one, but I'm not so sure if Paulie Dangerously is even going to come into effect here. Paulie will just sit in that corner. It's basically down to Arn Anderson, Rick Snyder here. If Paulie's smart, he will sit in the corner. He would maybe go over to the Virginia State line and sit in that corner. <laughs> Look at him. He's hiding behind the ring post. Anderson now with the early advantage trying to take over on Rick Steiner. Paul Lee at one time, successful manager. And basically, if he's smart, that's what he'll be in this one, not a participant. Well, the hardliners are, that's another thing. It's a little, where did, where did they take Missy? That's a good question. Oh, he caught it in midair with a power slam. Rick Steiner. With a watchful eye toward Paul E. Dangerously. Anderson from behind buries the knee. Anderson's as tough as they come in WCW. I will assure you, fans. Rick's got him up. Look at Paul E. up on top. Well, he, he nailed him, Jim. Got him from behind. He may have broken his hand. That's the most athletic thing I've ever seen Paul E. do. He's got his cowboy boots on. And now he's giving one of them to Arn Anderson. Paul, uh, Rick Steiner is playing a little possum here. <laughs> he, oh, Steiner line on Arn Anderson. He's out of it. Uh-oh. He's by himself now, Jim. The, the person that does Paul's laundry may be the only one that knows just how scared he really is right now. Rick Steiner with a handful of the vastly receding hairline from Paul Lee. He's got him up. He slams it. Is it Steiner line time? Oh, Steiner. And ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, the team of Missy Hyatt and Rick Steiner. Well, uh, it's really easy to see why this was considered one of the worst pay-per-views of all time, Arn. <clears throat> it followed a match that nothing to do with the match, but the conclusion and the story left a sour taste in everybody's mouth. They literally looked at me and said, "You got five minutes to get the whole thing done. We're off uh, the air. We're off the air." Wow. What are you What are you gonna do? I mean, what? I don't even remember why Missy and Paul were there. Did you see, by the way, Dick Slater and uh, and Dick Murdoch when they grabbed her? That fan took swings at Dick. Dick Murdoch. He, he flipped Dick Murdoch's hat off. And Dick Murdoch took a swing at the fan. Uh, security finally came in to pull him back. I don't know what that idiot fan was thinking, by the way. 
He's just lucky he didn't slap Dick Slater in the head. Oh. <laughs> but, but anyway, so that it was for those fans lights, that are watching. Lights, that was a little out. mutso. That was a little mutso at the beginning, and they 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 ran off with Missy. But then, yeah, I mean, it was just like, what are we doing? What did that What did that even do for us here? It was just to put a whatever a, a period on the a bad story. I mean, there was no time to tell it to have a match, to have a story, to have anything. It should have never went on. I mean, in a cage, it didn't mean anything. You know what I mean? It was. Yeah, it, I was it, just, it had meant nothing to it. It didn't. Arn, we're going to get into a couple questions about this match, and then we got uh, we're going to we're going to talk about our favorite sponsor. Uh, th- Matt Richards wants to know why two of the greatest wrestlers ever, you and Rick Steiner, were only given two minutes and eight seconds in a cage match to close the show. You just told us they basically said after that whole match, you guys got five minutes to do what you got to do. We got to get off TV. Yeah, and we're off the air no matter what. You're either done or we're going to go off during the match. Wow. So was that just timing issues with that Wyndham Luger match or what? The, whatever the show is that came on after this, this was a this was a pay per view though. This is a bad. Oh, this is a pay per view. Okay, yeah. I think it was a situation. If you went over the allotted time, you're going right. to it's going to cost you a pretty penny. So whoever's it's, timing the show out has is either struggling with it or something went over that shouldn't have. Yes. Yes, I mean, it, it's, uh, I, don't get me wrong, Rick Steiner could have beat me in 30 seconds and never looked back. That's not the point. It, it, you want to give the audience something to go home smiling about. And Jason, that, you can't do it in five minutes. That's entrances. Yeah. That's that's the whole shooting match. Man, 